Okay, today for math, we're still going to be in 1.1, rational and irrational numbers. We're going to be converting um, decimals to fractions. We're just going to look at example A. And today we're going to be expressing terminating decimals as rational numbers. So terminating decimal is just a decimal that does not repeat. So we're only going to look at example A today. So when we're looking at this example, we want to see that it is um, 825th thousandths. So when we're going to convert a decimal to a fraction, we want to think about the place values of those digits. So just a reminder, you know, like a what's my place, what's my value, like Miss Seaton used to teach, um, the 8 is in the tenth place. The 2 is in the hundredths place. And the five is in the thousands place. So we say that as 825 thousandths. Oh, look at Miss Mills spelled thousands wrong. So um, what we're going to do is when we write this as a fraction, that thousandths is going to go in the denominator, the 1,000, right? And then the 825, those digits that are after the decimal, they go in the numerator. So 825 thousandths. Then we're going to simplify that fraction. And they just simplified it by dividing by 25. But say if you didn't figure out that it was 25, I'm gonna show you how you can just do it step by step by fives. So you could have just div divided at the top and the bottom by five. So um, we're gonna divide the top and the bottom by five. So 1,000 divided by five is 200. 825 divided by five. That's going to go in 165. There we go. All right, so 165, and those are both um, have five as a factor. They're both in a five or a zero. So we're gonna divide by five again. So 200 divided by five, and 60, 165 divided by five is 33 over 40. So we get the same answer. You don't have to divide straight away by 25. You can do five by five, and that will work too. All right, so we're going to look at page 12, number eight. So this time we have a whole number and a, and a decimal, so 5.6. So 5 is the whole part, the 0.6 is the part. So we're going to have 5 as a whole and then a part, right, as a fraction. So we're going to figure out the numerator and denominator for that part. So the part is just 0 0.6. So let's just look at the 0 0.6 and figure out what the part needs to be. So 0 0.6, um, that is in the tenths place, right? So we're just going to write that as 6 over 10. Then we can see that both the six and the 10 are even. And we're gonna divide uh, by twos, so that's three fifths, and that is the part. So then when we write the final answer, right, it's 5.6 is equivalent to five and three fifths. All right. uh, if you were um, asked to leave that as like an improper fraction, right, five as a whole is 25 fifths, so you could add that to the three-fifths to get 28-fifths. One last example for today. So this is going to be from page 13, number 27. Um, it is a word problem, although not um, asking you to do lots of steps. It just it says the metal in a penny is worth about that many cents. I'm having trouble with that word. So anyway, 0 0.505. And so we just look at the place values, and we can see that the last digit is in the thousandths place. I almost spelled it wrong again. So thousandths place. And so we're going to uh, write this fraction over 1,000, and we're going to just take the digits, 505, and we're going to write them over 1,000. Then we need to make sure we simplify they both end in a five or a zero, so we can simplify by fives, uh, reducing or simplifying, dividing both by five. Right. So 505 divided by five is 101, and 1,000 divided by five is 200. Now, if you need to, right, this is how you can do that. 505 divided by five, just doing a little long division, if you can't do it in your head, right? So just showing you kind of like how 
you can get that number right there, 101. And then right, writing this out as a final answer, 0 0.505 is equal to or equivalent to 101 over 200. So writing this out as a final answer, 0 0.05 is equal to 101 over 200.